the the topic of today's uh, today's quarterly meeting is the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan. You've heard us talk a lot about the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan over the past year, year and a half or so, um, and it's been our main main initiative that we've been working on. And um, we've done a lot of work over the past year and a half, and so uh, we're going to share our progress. And we're excited that at this point, we have actually completed the development of the first ever Kansas City Physical Activity Plan. Uh, so I'm going to talk, I'm going to try to keep this to about 10 minutes today, just give you a broad overview of what the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan is, and really specifically the format that we're sharing or that we're using to share the information uh, in the Physical Activity Plan. But the bulk of the conversation today is really going to focus on the work that has been done in each of the sectors, uh, because that's really where all the action is. So with that, uh, we started the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan development process in October 2019 um, with our core work group members, and it continued in earnest, well, it's con it continues today, but our planning for the actual strategies and priorities of the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan uh, culminated at the end of 2020. During that period of time, from October 2019 to December 2020, we held 55 total meetings related to the Physical Activity Plan, including our large event in September 2020, uh, the Kansas City Physical Activity Summit. During that, across all 55 of those meetings, uh, we had 550 people participate at some level in the process. Uh, we did lots and lots of things to gather input and solicit feedback from uh, all of these participants, uh, including surveys where we uh, asked people to rank things and prioritize different items, but really that was uh, the only thing that was universal across all the sectors. Each sector really kind of took their own approach to how they developed the plan. And uh, we may discuss that a little bit today when we go around the sectors, uh, but if not, it's gonna be fully documented, documented in the actual plan. The plan, uh, which we'll talk about, is uh, very thorough. Uh, at this moment in time, it's close to 80 pages. So it's very, very thorough and we describe every step along the way. However, we know that that's more information than most of you are going to need. And so we released something called a playbook in December, 2020. I'll briefly talk about what that playbook is, but in, sh in short, it is a more easily readable and shareable document that has all the same important information around the plan in it. Um, we've already had several successes. Uh, the first one was in November, where we, as the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan, could collectively support the Complete Streets Ordinance that was in front of um, uh, Wyandotte County uh, uh, Council. And we are happy, we were able to testify and submit letters of support on behalf of the physical activity plan. And we are very excited that it was unanimously adopted uh, later at, towards the end of 2020. We've also received uh, three grants already to support implementation projects. And that's really just the start of the implementation that we're gonna do uh, for the plan itself. And I'll talk a little bit about that later. The full plan, will be released on Monday, March 22nd. Uh, the plan is developed right now. We're fine-tuning uh, fine some of the, the language around it and the graphics and things like that. Uh, and we will make that publicly available on March 22nd. And we'll do that in a couple different ways. If you're, uh, most of you are already signed up for the weighing in newsletter. So you'll receive it in your inbox uh, that morning. It'll also appear on our website that day as well. We also have several other, other uh, launch activities planned, uh, but those are the two main uh, main ways that you can find the plan. 
So just as a reminder, I think I've shared the slide a couple of times, uh, but the goal of the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan is to create a Kansas City-focused, sector-specific strategy and tactics that, were, that, if adopted, would foster a culture of physical activity within our region. And we think that this is important for several reasons. One is we are making a collective statement that physical activity is a public health priority in Kansas City. We also are establishing a multi-sector coalition to advocate for priorities. Uh, we all know that we can't work in our silos. We have to work with a collective voice to change uh, important and systemic things such as access to physical activity. And we're also creating a framework for implementation of strategies and tactics. This plan is not a document that is, that is just going to sit on a shelf. We want to have uh, a ready to go toolkit and roadmap for anyone to pick up and use to implement the strategies and tactics. We have three overarching priorities for the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan. And these are in addition to the sector-specific strategies that we're gonna talk about in just a minute. But the overarching priorities are, we are going to advocate for local funding, increased local funding for physical acti activity initiatives throughout our region. We are um, uh, advocating for regular comprehensive surveillance of relevant physical activity metrics. And alongside that, regular regional reporting of those metrics. We have released the first version of this in September, 2020 called the Kansas City Regional Physical Activity uh, Report Card. We have four guiding principles for the physical activity plan. And so these were considered as the sectors were meeting and developing their strategies and priorities. The first is that we want to ensure equitable, equitable access to safe places for physical activity. Everything we do, we want it to be evidence-based and community-informed. And finally, it has to be systems-wide policy and environmental change. We, uh, so, uh, certain projects may be very narrowly focused around a specific topic, but it must fit within a larger plan to address uh, the system in which we all live in and that ultimately dictates our levels of physical activity. Oops. So here is who is uh, um, who has really kind of led this work. So weighing in, has served as the backbone organization for the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan. Um, so Shelly introduced all of the members of Weighing In and our role in the project were to provide administrative support uh, for all the sectors. We help manage communications, facilitate meetings. Uh, we compile all the re recommendations. Uh, we uh, put this all together into a nice, easy to read uh, format and a document that, that we can share with everyone. Uh, the bulk of the work was done by our core work group. And so there are 13 members of our core work group and they represent either leaders of one of the societal sectors or ad hoc members who provide specific expertise in a content area that we wanted them to be a part of the core work group. And so this group, provide strategic decision-making for the, the development of the plan. They led the sector work groups and they recruited lots of other organizations and partners to join in the development of the plan. So uh, we're gonna meet and you're gonna hear from several of these core work group members uh, throughout the rest of the presentation today, uh, but a big hats off to them for all their work that they committed over the last year. And then there were the sector specific work groups. And so here are the sector specific work groups. Um, they are organized around societal sector where we spend our, our lives. Uh, so infrastructure, early childhood, healthcare, faith based settings, healthy schools, and parks and recreation were the six sectors 
that we launched in 2020. In 2021, we're launching the final four additional sectors, and that's sport, business, media, and public health. And like I said, you'll hear from these sectors, uh, the six sectors that we've already formed uh, later in today's presentation. So we have created three documents over the course of the year. Um, two of them have already been released and one will be released in a couple of weeks. Uh, the first is getting to uh, the overarching priority of reporting of physical activity metrics in our region. And so that uh, took the form of the 2020 Kansas City Regional Report Card on Physical Activity for Children and Youth. So that was released in September and it assigned letter grades for overall physical activity and uh, nine or 10 key physical activity indicators uh, that ultimately determine physical act, overall physical activity. So this was used, uh, this report was generated using only local data. So it is very Kansas City specific. You can find this report on our website, kcphysicalactivityplan.org. The second document was the Kansas City Physical Activity Playbook. So we released that at the end of 2020. And uh, this is the summary document for the physical activity plan. Uh, so as I mentioned, the uh, full physical activity plan is very, very detailed. The playbook is a companion piece that is much more easier to read and it features this card style format. And I'm gonna show you what some of those cards look like in just a minute. But for most people, they're probably gonna to want to use the playbook as a way to, uh, to, to utilize the physical activity plan. The Kansas City Physical Activity Plan is gonna be a much more deeper dive into the physical activity plan, both in the creation uh, the process that we used to develop the plan, all the meetings that we had, um, and very detailed recommendations for strategies, priorities, um, uh, and approaches. So we're using a lot of different terms here. And so I just want to clarify what we mean when we're talking about these specific things. So the first two are strategies and priorities. So strategies are broad evidence-based approaches to promote physical activity. Now these are organized by societal sector, but I've got an example of all of these things in the next couple slides. Below that, we have priorities. And these are tactics that if accomplished would support the sector-specific strategies that they sit under. And so here are the 22 strategies that were developed for the six sectors in 2020. Like and so you can see them all listed right here and I'm not gonna go through them all, uh, but the sectors, we'll talk about them uh, later on in the presentation. Um, they are there, it works out to three or four strategies were developed per sector. Faith-based setting had five, because uh, they're, they're overachievers. You'll note that each of the sectors are, are organized by color, just to make it easier to find and easier to distinguish between each of the sectors. Now, the final three terms that we use and that you'll find in the document are approach, local leaders, and community approaches. And so I'll show you an example of this on the next slide, but approach is current activities that decision makers can implement now. And in the document, you'll see there's a little arrow icon that sits next to these approaches so you can identify them. Local leaders refers to things that organizations or partners that are already active in, the sec in this particular sector can do to implement the strategies and priorities. And the icon we used for this is uh, the three individuals um, that are standing with their, one of them has their hand up with a flag in the air. 
And then the final is community approaches. And these refer to things that residents and partners that may not currently be actively involved in the sector can do to get involved. And that is uh, represented by the icon of uh, the group of people uh, that you can see right there. So let's use the Healthy Schools as an example. So this is uh, from the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan document. And this is what you will, but it is representative. Uh, this is just for healthy schools, but this is representative of what all the sectors look like in the plan. So the first page always provides an overview of the sector and lists the strategies that they've identified. So for example, in the sector overview, they talk a little bit about the sector itself. So school is the central focus of daily life for most children and about half of the child's physical activity occurs in the school. So that's an overview of the sector and why it's important. Uh, there's the three strategies that were developed by the healthy schools sector. And then on the next two pages, describe or is information on how the um, strategies and priorities were developed. So there's information on the process, the feedback they received. Uh, they had a particularly a novel way of gathering input using youth voices. That was the community input. And then they also used the survey. So that's how they developed uh, the, the items later in the uh, document. And so here are the next three pages in uh, the plan. And here's where we break things down by strategy. So here's the first strategy for the Healthy Schools group. There is the strategy itself, which again, here is the definition of what a strategy is, broad evidence-based approaches. Then it's followed by the priorities that fit under that strategy. So in this particular case, there were three priorities that directly support strategy one. On the very next page are the, current, the approach, and here's that approach icon. It says approach right there. Here are things that are, are activities that decision makers can do uh, if they're actively already involved, uh, things that they can do immediately to, um, to support the strategies and priorities. The next page includes information on local leaders. So here's things that uh, other organizations can do right now. Uh, to support the strategies and priorities. And then right next to that is the community approaches. So here are ways for residents and other partners to get involved if they're not already doing that. So you will see the same format occur for each of the sectors within the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan. Okay? I hope that that makes sense and we outline all of that in the plan itself. And so as you can see, this is... Uh, when we have 22 strategies, you can see how this creates a very large document. Uh, but we think that's important to include all of that, to make all that information available to everybody. Okay, um, so here are the next steps. As I mentioned before, the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan will be released on Monday, March 22nd. It will pop into your email inbox if you're on our weighing in listserv, and it'll also be on our website. And the website, which is kcphysicalactivityplan.org, is the best way to connect with us and to learn more about the plan. We've got lots of great resources there. Of course, all of these documents, we will also have video tutorials. This video will be posted on there. Um, and we've got lots of other ways to help you connect with our work. We have new sectors beginning later this year. So that's in sport, media, business, and public health. If you want to participate in those sectors, you can do so by signing up either on our website, you can reach out directly to us, either weighing in the general weighing in uh, email account or one of the weighing in um, um, uh, staff if you have a good connection with them. Um, you can also sign up for a sector on our website as well. Um, here's our, our email, the general weighing in email, if you want to use that to connect with us. Um, 
most importantly, I think, is we are actively implementing the strategies now. And so we have done the work already, uh, as I mentioned, through three grants that we've received. Uh, these implementation projects are going to keep going. We're going to add new ones all the time. If you want to take on implementation of a strategy or priority, please do so. You can contact us and we can help you do that. If you just want to do it on your own, that's okay as well. Just let us know what you're planning to do. We want everyone to begin working on uh, and implementing the strategies of the physical activity plan. And to that point, the Kansas City Physical Activity Plan is a living document. Uh, what we post on March 22nd is not going to be the final document. We have scheduled revisions to the plan built in, but we will, we will make any changes as they are needed, as new people begin to be involved, as we start implementing projects and we learn new things. Uh, so please contribute and connect with us at any time.